Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're all doing well, getting ready for some college football today, but also you should be getting ready for my Discord tournament. We are gonna be hosting a 1v1 tournament in my Discord server. Link is down in the description below if you wanna join. If you do join, here's the prize pools. First place is $20 of Apex coins or glitch or killer jerky. Second place is a starter pack of glitch and third place is a killer jerky pack. The rules and signups are in the Discord. All you gotta do is come to tournament register and read the rules and everything. It also is gonna start at 1 p.m. Eastern. So I'm trying to get this video out as fast as possible we're also giving away an heirloom in the link down in the description on my twitter so i'll leave the link for you there as well this video should feel like a trip down memory lane i'm editing it for the first time in a while also i'm not doing a face cam because well quite frankly i just woke up i look fat and ugly as always and i also tried to shave my face with some kind of shaving powder because i always bleed when i use razors and this thing scorched my face and now I got like red whelps all over my face. But nonetheless, I think you guys will really enjoy this video. I reached out to Respawn and got some answers about specifically skill-based matchmaking and how you can actually get easier games yourself, which is kind of weird, but it does make a lot of sense. I also want to talk about the upcoming event and how I think Apex can fix this drought of like, you know, not doing anything for a month and a half and then just doing a collection event and then not doing anything again until like the end of the season or the next season. I feel like I have a better plan that they could use that could make the season feel fresh all the way throughout. And then also I want to talk about some data that someone pulled up regarding regarding warzone streamers big streamers to be specific as to why they think activision is actually giving them easier games so that the viewers think that the game is easier and makes them want to play more people are also saying that this could be possible in apex legends that maybe your people like timmy get all of these high damage games because they purposely make their games easier so that people will think man i can do this myself and i can get on and start doing this as well yes it's a bit far-fetched no i don't really think apex is doing it itself but the stats that he got from warzone kind of are a little concerning so let's get into the video like the video subscribe to the channel if we have 500 subs off this video alone i'll post in my next video a little clip of me reacting to childbirth because i need to learn more about it considering i have a girl on the way and i refuse to learn more about it because it sounds absolutely disgusting and i get <laughs> the only sub goal i don't want you to hit the bad part is that is my legit reaction i actually gag that bad over the thought of it it's not just that it's tuna fish chitlins raccoons possums yeah so subscribe or don't all right so our first story is a little bit of an update on the entire hacking situation and is your security breach has your personal information been obtained by these titanfall hackers that could be an apex as well so respawn actually did finally come out with an update and said our team has shipped an update to address the game crashing exploit we found no evidence of any more serious vulnerabilities. We'll keep an eye out for further issues, but consider this one to be close. And they honestly have just basically said that there's nothing going on. There's no like credit card information that's been hacked. They're not taking everybody's information. You don't have to delete the game off your computer. It's not some kind of malware that's on your computer. You're fine. You're safe. Basically, someone was just crashing games. And yeah, so you're perfectly safe by having Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends on your computer. Right, so our next topic, this is the one you came for. I actually did speak with Respawn about skill-based matchmaking. So this came from Tyler Owens, which is a build engineer at Apex Legends for Respawn. And so basically there was this big thread going around about skill-based matchmaking between these two people. And he chimed in and quoted a tweet and said this, a really important part that a lot of folks like to overlook when talking about skill-based matchmaking. The tweet he was quoting said, I don't know how to explain this, but if you're having an easy game, the other people are not. So you have to have this balance there of understanding that if it's easy for you, it's frustrating for someone else. And that's totally true. But also I understand the whole skill-based matchmaking arguments that a lot of you have. Like some of you were sending me pictures the other day of like you having a 20 bomb, a 4K badge, and you're like level 500 and you got so many kills and you get like a level seven teammate and a level 13 teammate and you're going against a three stack Preds. It, it really doesn't make sense, honestly. But like I said, this does have some truth of it. You just have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. So someone replied to Tyler here and said, annoyingly, most social modes still seem to count KD. Players always going to be sweaty if that's the case, in my opinion. If players are always looking at their stats and seeing the number that got continually worse, it discourages any form of relaxed play. Tyler replied and said, that's fair. My thoughts on social media have always been that how sweaty or casual the experience is come down to the player. If I care, I'll sweat and I'll perform better, increasing my average skill of games, etc., etc." If I want to relax, I relax and my games get easier. So I saw this and I was like, wait a second. If you relax and you relax in your gameplay, your gameplay gets easier. Um, why does that actually seem true? Because I start plugging in my controller and I suck at the game and all of a sudden my, my games get easier. I start winning a lot more games and it feels like the players kind of suck. I'm like, what's going on? So I actually replied here and asked Tyler. I said, okay, this is weird. I used to play mouse and keyboard and always felt sweaty because obviously I was a sweat. 
And a few weeks ago, I decided to plug in the controller, sit back and blast some music and absolutely suck on controller and have fun. But oddly, I'm doing better and winning more. And when you say your games get easier when you relax, it's true for me too. But how does that work? So he did reply to me without trying to give me too much information, but kind of explaining how I guess this skill based matchmaking works in Apex Legends. So he said this right here. He said, depends on the specific details of the matchmaking system. Uh, kind of not trying to give too much of their system, but I think he kind of explained it for me. Some take this into account and feed you matches and various quality levels to increase overall engagement and others may evaluate recent performance skills versus historical. So basically insinuating that it doesn't just matter if you were a pred or were a master or were a diamond, if you currently have been sucking in your past couple of games, they're going to give you uh, an updated based skill based matchmaking like basically saying hey this guy used to be a sweat he used to be a pred but here lately he's kind of sucked so we're going to pretend that he's a plat player or a, or a gold player or a silver player who has always struggled who has always sucked and reevaluate his skill base and not just locking you in in pred lobbies all the time because you used to be a pred and then it replied to me again and said overperforming in matches generally leads to the system inflating your skill or performance so literally not trying as hard can directly lead to easier matches so this was weird because last night i played and won four games in a row i was dropping like 13 kills per game a 3k damage twice on controller and i'm like how is this happening how am i still getting easy games and I'm starting to wonder if it like takes into account to everything. Like I'm no longer doing like hitting as many shots maybe, or maybe like I'm just playing really slow. Like does it evaluate how slow I am? Does it evaluate how slow I am at looting or something like that? I, I don't understand. Maybe it actually is able to calculate whether or not you're a good player just by the small things that you do and not necessarily just winning or getting a lot of kills. So you guys heard it here first, straight from Respawn. If you want easier matches, if you want the skill-based matchmaking to be less harsh on you, you need to start relaxing. You need to stop taking the game seriously, apparently, and just start having fun. So this, however, also sparked some weird conversation because a lot of people are now thinking based off of this data that was pulled from these Warzone streamers that uh, maybe this is going on in Apex Legends 2, but apparently the big streamers are having easier games and getting put in easier lobbies so that their thousands and thousands of viewers will see how easy that is for them and they're going to be encouraged to go play the game itself versus your smaller streamers or good players themselves who have the similar kd as these big streamers they're getting much much harder games and it's not just saying hey your games are easy not fair my games are hard not fair they're actually pulling like kds from these lobbies and apparently they are getting put in easier games here's a TikTok i saw last night kind of explaining it let me know in the comments what you think and let me know if you could see apex doing something like this also personally i don't think apex is involved in this i don't even know if warzone is involved in this it is a bit far-fetched but it is kind of intriguing crap so he has copyrighted music in it so i have to do it myself so basically here's what he said so reddit user quasi tracked 64 random games from random players small streamers and big streamers each player was ranked by their kd ratio and each match was assigned a difficulty rating based on the average kd of the players in the lobby people like tfu and jack frags had more than 40 games where the average kd of the lobby was less than 1.1 meanwhile random players and smaller streamers only had about two or three now like he said it doesn't prove anything basically it's just a new theory or new idea let me know what you think down in the comments below more fuel to the fire about this skill-based matchmaking argument so yeah like i said it's a bit far-fetched it's a bit out there but it does make a lot of sense and i could see big companies doing stuff like this but i just don't know if it's actually going on let me know what you think in the comments below all right so welcome to the golden nuggets actually this is one that i've been waiting to do for so long this is more than just hey i found something it's basically look i've been brainstorming for the past couple of weeks of how we could fix this apex legends issue uh it, it, it's no secret that apex has an issue of this like drought that happens so basically they release here's their schedule they release a season and nothing happens for about a month and a half they come out with an event and the event unfortunately hasn't really had any ltms lately it's kind of been lackluster to say the least and basically we get skins we get a town takeover we get an heirloom whatever but in reality that's not really that much content i think the only content there is actually like the town takeover maybe uh but you don't have like new ltms or anything like that so it's not it's not a new way to play the game uh, other than you know just simply the town takeover and at the end of the season they might do a tiny little event season nine i think they had this arena flash event or something like that and then they didn't have the collection event till the very end so it was very 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 dry so i've come up with my plan of how i think that respawn could fix this drought or fix this i was talking with another youtuber uh just yesterday about this issue and they were also saying the same thing basically respawn content dumps all at once and they should trickle stuff ever so slightly so that it still remains fresh all the time 
so here's my idea let me know what you think in the comments below also leave me your own comments about how you would fix it what are some ideas you would have that could make the game feel fresh all the time instead of having these dry spells so personally i feel like we have the season launch then three weeks later we have an ltm event so it's like a two week uh kind of like you had in gold week where it was a new event every single day or every two days if you want to you could even recycle these so it's not too hard you could do like armed and dangerous you could do craver only third person mode you could do uh literally anything you could do shotguns only you could do like a small map like an arena map shotguns only or something like that you could do gold rush which is only care package weapons and then you can also just throw these on old maps if you want to so that's still staying fresh that way it's never always the same you could do flashpoint you could do shield regen you could do the second chance the second life one there's so many other ones that they've already created you don't really have to work too hard to make a new one you could just throw these on old maps or something that way you can reuse old stuff but still make it feel fun i mean personally i feel like we don't even need christmas or halloween to have these good game modes throw in winter express in there throw shadow royale or shadow fall in there so then after those two weeks are over you take a week off you come back the next week and you have a collection event i would prefer there to be an ltm in here somewhere as well maybe a brand new one that you made i feel like asking for one brand new ltm every season isn't too much to ask for but you don't even have to throw an LTM if you don't want to. You could just do the cosmetics, the town takeover, the heirloom. Then after that two weeks is over, you take another week off. And then the week after that, you come back and do another two week event except this one is not just saying hey throw in an extra event in there because i know this is a lot to ask for but respawn also is already planning to do this even for this season and next season because you have these collection events that we have right now that's coming around the corner then you're also going to have the halloween event that's going to be around the corner where you're going to have shadow royale shadow fall whatever they might even make a new shadow mode whatever and this one is not including a town takeover basically all it would be is skins maybe some theme related and then an ltm mode and then after that event's over you take a break and you're done for the rest of the season and you just wait for the next season that way you only have like a week of downtime every month and i don't know i know it sounds like a lot but a lot of this is just basically asking you to recycle stuff let me know what you think in the comments down below if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel like i said if we get 500 off this i'm gonna punish myself with that reaction so if you want to watch me suffer maybe you just hate me if you hate me you think i'm cringe you think i'm stupid annoying that's fine i kind of am so if you want to see me get punished then here's your chance have a great rest of your day it's vibrant Eye, only positivity make sure to join the heirloom giveaway down in the description below and also the 1v1 tournament down in the description below starts at 1 p.m eastern i'll see you all in just a little bit and i'm out peace later gators